The Ninth Station Jesus Falls for the Third Time We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because by Thy holy cross Thou hast redeemed the world. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity. Isaiah 53, verse 3 Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 to 24. There, before my eyes, under the weight of the cross, is the light of the world, prostrate upon the ground for the third time. What value was there in the Cyrenian carrying the cross? Why did he not at least take upon his shoulders the heaviest portion? If the soldiers forced the Cyrenian, they must have recognized the exhausted state of their victim. Why did they order Jesus to continue? Once more, it is an image of our miseries. We are like this. If I were the Cyrenian, would I have acted differently? How many times have I been negligent in the fulfillment of my duties, in the practice of virtue, in avoiding the occasions that lead me to sin? I am a long way from perfection, leaving Jesus to be almost crushed under the weight of the cross with no intention of helping him. Jesus gives me the divine example. If all abandon or persecute me, and I fall under the cross of deceptions, I must never let myself be overcome by discouragement. There is always more to give, even when there seems to be no more strength. This is another of the lessons contained in this station. O my Jesus, I thank Thee for the example of generosity and total giving that Thou hast shown me in this step of the Passion. I beseech of Thee efficacious graces to continuously serve Thee with disinterested love and great enthusiasm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Victim for Sinners, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.